End of October and Black Friday creeps up super, super fast and every single year. And no matter how much you prepare for it, it comes up quickly. So we're going to try to help you prepare as much as you can. I would say that my best tip that I give clients is to keep your uh, promotion as simple as possible because the more that you uh, create in terms of complications, the, the harder it is for your promotion to be approved through Google Merchant Center. Welcome back to another episode of Gads Girls. Um, my name is Mel. Um, joining us today, uh, we have Leandro, you know, and then we also have Carmen. Uh, she's another CM here at Solutions 8, um, and she's also the manager of the copywriters. Hey, guys. I'm excited to be on the show with you guys today. We're all together, finally, the three Gads Girls. The three of us. The three Canadian Gads Girls. Carmen's in... Uh, Vancouver and Leandra and I are in Edmonton. All right, Canadians are taking over everyone. We are. <laughs> YouTube channel is Canadian now. <laughs> um, so, so, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, what are we talking about today? Yes, awesome. We are talking about the best topic that digital marketers all love: Black Friday. <laughs> Uh, end of October and Black Friday creeps up super, super fast and every single year. And no matter how much you prepare for it, it comes up quickly. So we're going to try to help you prepare as much as you can for Black Friday, especially if you're an e-commerce client. All right. So I'll show my screen so that we can share the tips with you guys here. Awesome. So we are looking at the Google promotions uh, for Merchant Center, I guess, quick guide. So this will tell you um, what's allowed, what's not allowed, um, and just give you some, I guess, general tips on getting your promotions uh, approved within GMC. So I don't know, Carmen, do you want to run us through it? Sure. So I, I'll just talk about the first one. The simplest and easiest one is obviously giving a dollar value, a monetary discount or a percentage discount. So it could be anything from 20%, 10%, or even $40 off a given amount. And then there's also the one where you can have a maximum discount that you give. So you're giving a maximum of $40 off a certain promotion that you're giving for Black Friday. Leanne, do you want to go through the rest? Yeah, there's also a free gift option if you want to add a free gift. Um, and we're going to share this document with you in the description of the video, so you'll be able to access it. I think this comes directly from Google, so they update it as they every year with all the new topics. Mm -hmm. um, let me just scroll down a bit. There's a lot of things that are allowed and a lot of things that are not allowed. So this is why we recommend getting your promotion set up as quickly, as early as possible. Uh, before Black Friday, because uh, it can take a few days for these to get approved. And if they get disapproved, then you have to start all over again. So it's important to follow these guidelines as closely as possible so that you're not stuck the very last minute with the disapproved promotions. Um, so you'll see vague discounts, store credit uh, points back doesn't work. Um, some of these are pretty vague, like overly restrictive. That's a very vague thing to say. Um, but you'll be penalized by, by Google if you follow these. Yeah, it looks like if you're just offering a discount to, you know, somebody who's in the military, that's not allowed, or only offering discounts to people who are paying with PayPal, that's not allowed. So, um, yeah, all promotions restricted to a subset of users, so you can't do that. Um, and then I did notice, um, yeah, there was another one, oh, I was reading. Um, a lot of people get really excited when they're, um, you know, putting in the name of their promotions in GMC and they'll put, you know, explanation marks and they'll put like stars and things to grab people's attention, but you have to be super simple. You just got to say what it is, be very clear. Don't use any weird acronyms or anything, um, or you will run uh, the risk of getting disapproved, unfortunately. I would say that my best tip that I give clients is to keep your uh, promotion as simple as possible because the more that you uh, create in terms of complications the the harder it is for your promotion to be approved through google merchant center mm -hmm. and also one thing that we talked about uh, between the three of us is that you don't have to run a 
sale for Black Friday. You don't have to. Um, you know, if you're a newer business and you know, putting up a 20% off your products is going to really hurt you in the long run. Um, it might not be the best option. You could do something like um add on a free gift where you know it costs you 60 cents to make it or something like that. Um, but you know, it's still going to be that value add. Um, we have a, I have a T client and I was on a call with them the other day with John. Um, and they were just saying, you know, it's, they're still like very new in the early stages, but, um, you know, one of their teas, uh, tea boxes, boxes of different teas, uh, cost them very little to make, but it would be a really great thing to add on when they're selling, you know, other tea products, like their users, mugs, whatever it is. As Carmen sips her tea, <laughs> good time. I was like, speaking of tea, uh, Carmen claims she's not drinking beer. Uh, it's ten in the morning here, but she's drinking green tea out of a beer stein of tea. Yeah. It's a liter stein, liter literally from Germany that I brought back a few years back. Oh, nice. Another, another tip of Black Friday for if you work in agency is uh, drinking helps. Um, <laughs> after after hours, I was just telling everyone here that. Um, I worked in a different agency before and I got hired uh, mid-November and right before Black Friday. And I thought it was so weird. Nobody was talking to me. Everyone was just busy and there was, there was just a weird environment. And I realized quickly that, oh, it's Black Friday. Black Friday times and agencies are very strange and stressful times. So um, hopefully these tips will help you be a little bit less stressed. The other thing is also not to try and launch a website or launch Google ads like literally during the month of Black Friday because I think you're just going to stress yourself out way too much um, and then even your ads just not going to be approved in the end anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah that's very important and I think um, also there's other things that you can do other than um, so you have to do your GMC promotion but you can also add extensions promotion extensions within Google ads which is very quick to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a, what used to be called a promotion extension in Google ads. So this will apply to lead gen and e-commerce campaigns. So if you go into uh, campaigns, you go to ads and assets now. So this is what is different. It used to be ads and extensions, but recently they changed it to assets. So there's all different types of assets that you can add to your campaigns, but we're going to talk about the promotion ones. So you can find it here. And I'm going to set up a different one. So add promotion, you can add them to the account, campaign, or ad group. Uh, what I found is if you add it to the account, you have to also apply it to the campaign. So that's super important. Um, it's easy to just add it to the account and assume that it's working, but they have to be applied to campaigns or ad groups as well. Um, we're going to create a new one. So there's all kinds of options here for whatever type of promotion that you're running. And today we're going to do Black Friday. You can choose your language, your currency, and then here is where you get to choose what type of offer you're giving. So whether it's a dollar discount, a percent discount, up to a dollar discount, or up to a percent discount. So these are the four options. There's no real flexibility outside of these. So today, let's say we're offering $20 off. Um, what's our item? Black Friday. Let's do black high heel. Shoes. <laughs> oh no. Hey, John always know. picks the red high heel shoes. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have done red. Red would have fit. Red. Out here. Um, so you only have 20 characters. So that actually ends up being really difficult sometimes is, is playing within that 20 character limit. But you'll see here on this ad preview exactly what it shows up. So you can see that that's what's going to show up on, like bolted onto your, your ads. And then a final URL, add that in there. I'm just going to add a random one there. Uh, promotion details, you can do either promo code or uh, orders over. So if you do a promo code, you can enter it in and it'll enter in the exact promo code right there in the ad. And then orders over, it just helps you just adds that exact message right here. So that gives you a bit more, more clarification. And here's somewhere that's really important. So the displayed promotion app dates this is what shows up as the dates that are your ads are actually going to show. So let's say I'm choosing October 23rd to October 31st. That's what's gonna show up here, but that doesn't mean that the ads are gonna show up during these times. This is simply the messaging on the ads. Um, so that's a big mistake that people make is thinking that, okay, I've set these dates, my ads, are, my asset extensions are gonna stop 
on October 31st, but that's not the case. So you have to go down into, sorry, into advanced options. And this is where you set the date range. So this is super important. So you can set it um, to, that we want it to end on October 31st. You can even play around with certain days of the week that they show or time of the, the time of day, but make sure that you have an end date. Otherwise these could continue to run forever and ever until you, you catch it. So that is very important. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm them so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now, back to your regularly scheduled program. That's it. What's um, interesting about this is within Google Ads, we really only have the option to do monetary discount or percentage offset, right? For this promotion extension up to, yeah, yeah, percentage discount. Yeah. So within the Merchant Center, you also have, you know, the free gift and shipping. Um, so I guess the promotion extension will only be um, a applicable if you're running the percentage off, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Uh, Carmen, do you want to run us through how to set up the promotion extension? So, or sorry, the promotion in DMC, we did the already. <laughs> All right, so for me to share. All right, so we're inside of, actually I'll just back up a little bit. We're inside of Google Merchant Center here. And if you go into marketing, and then click promotions here. This is where all of your promotions will lie. And this is a page that I check quite often during Black Friday because I'm like checking, hey, is it under review? Has it been banned? And anyways, there's a lot of time spent here just praying to the Google Merchant Center gods. Okay. So after you click into the new promotion here, you go into country, whichever country that you're trying to set up your promotion for. So I'll choose United States, the majority of our clients are there, language, English, and then here is where you get to play with the different promotion categories. There is, like I mentioned, the amount off, monetary discount, percentage off. This is where you can have the free gift where inside of the promotion extension, Melissa was just talking about, does not have the free gift. And here you can also offer free shipping. So I guess I'll just go in and offer a free gift since we already did the just the other uh, percentage discount with Leander there. So you're gonna get free gift here. Click on whatever your free just gift description is is <laughs> black <guy emails. laughs> uh, and then whatever your you can even add a minimum purchase amount. So say you only want to give people these black high heels if they buy a hundred dollars worth of products on your store, you can create this as well. And then you can also do a minimum purchase quantity, but these, most, of, most of these are optional. So you click next, and then you get taken to this page here. So it's important to note that you have to have a promotion title and promotion uh, ID. So if you don't have these, then Google Merchant Center won't approve it. So I'm just gonna make mine up right now and call this Black Friday 2023. And then the promotion ID is what they determine here. If you want to have specific products that you want to have a promotion on instead of site-wide, then you have to add this promotion ID here so that it's associated with those specific products that you want to run the promotion for. Um, so I'm just going to call it F23. Um, so I talked about this one here where you have to have the specific promotion ID. Um, then you can also choose all products, which is when you have a site-wide promotion for your campaign. And then you can also create custom filters, which I'm not gonna go into today, it's a bit longer, um, and, but you can create custom filters for specific product categories that you want to create a promotion for. And then here you have the promotion code. Um, but you can also do 23, oops, 23, and then again, you have your date range of, let's say, 28th to 31st, and again, you can change your start time and end time for these campaigns. And then afterwards, you just click create promotion, and that's 
as simple as it is to create a Black Friday promotion in Google Merchant Center. Super simple. I think people will very much appreciate that. Thank you, Carmen. Um, all right. Is there any other tips or anything we want to kind of go over? I think we've got, we did the uh, promotion extension. We did how to set it up in Google Merchant Center. I think we're good. We'll share this document in the in the descriptions for you guys to all read. And if you have any specific questions or anything that we forgot to cover, just put it in the comments and we will get back to you and answer them as quickly as possible so that you're all set for Black Friday. Awesome. Well, remember to comment, click, subscribe, do all of those things for us. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on another episode of The Gats Girls. Bye. Good luck on Black Friday. <gasps>